Good morning, everyone. It's another Toolbox Tuesday, and um, it's the 8th of August. Um, happy birthday to you, Lori. Um, Today is not my best day. I have been sick for five days, um, and today's topic is listen to your body. <laughs> so I was sick last we uh, Thursday and I took the night off work and I rested and Friday I rested all day. And then Friday afternoon I was like, oh, I really want to go to the Philbert Festival. I can just go and, and tootle around and just look at the vendors and it'll be fine. And and I got up Saturday morning and I was like, oh, I don't feel good, but Marty really needs me to help me with his DJ gig. So, you know, I, I can go and do that and I'll help him with his DJ gigs. And, and, um, and then Sunday morning I woke up and my body was like, yeah, no, you are doing nothing like nothing and I was like okay you know I think sometimes um, I mean I can only speak for myself but I'm guilty of this belief that um, we're missing out when we're sick or um, that uh, the world won't go on without us and you know I, this was a good reminder for me. I mean, being sick um, for several days now, um, you realize the world does go on. <laughs> and, you know, things that you thought that you really needed to do, um, you didn't really have to do. Um, yeah, because the world goes on. Um, and I think the other reminder here for me is that, you know, self-care and, and again, back to this listening, I've gone in the sauna, um, I've, I've had lots of Epsom salt baths, I've read my books, I've, I've had some great downloads, which um, for me, downloads are sort of thoughts of, are inspirational thoughts. Um, which often we don't have time for because we're so busy being busy. Um, and those great downloads um, don't get to come through because we're actually not listening. And so it's been really amazing um, to have the space to, to do that. Um, I used to think um, being sick was this horrible, awful thing. Um, and Hi Tara, I can't see everybody that's on live because I'm on my phone, but to all of you that are here live, thanks for joining. Um, but you know, again, like being sick isn't always a bad thing. Sometimes it's permission to just get rid of those to-do lists and, you know, realize and allow that these um, opportunities um, to be sick are permission to give our body self-care, to give the nutrients to our body that it's craving for, um, to, um, <coughs> to, excuse me, um, to, to just allow your kids to freaking take care of you for once, by the way, I might add. <laughs> and yeah, like to ask for help. I've had people delivering chicken soup and dropping off medicines and Epsom salts and checking in. And it's amazing to feel people sending you love when you know that you're not well. And that feels great too. So all of the things like, again, being sick isn't all that bad. I mean, yeah, it's not great. But I tell you, like, if I think back to my experience moving through cancer, which was 15 years ago, boy, did I find out who had my back and who loves me and um, how radical self-care. 
Um, so again, I think, I mean, I haven't been sick like this in years. Um, but again, it's a great reminder to just slow down, be okay, know the world is going to continue. That this is just a great upgrade and detoxification of the body. And, and that all is well. We'll get through it. Permission to just enjoy being quiet. So there's my talk. <laughs> when your body speaks, listen to it. Anyways, I hope you're all having a fantastic summer. Sending love to you all. Take care. Bye.